Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to show you guys something that I added to my office. I'm not going to do a new office tour but I wanted to show it to you guys just in case you're looking for a little bit of inspiration when it comes to this. Um, if you watch some of my plan with me's you guys know that I always struggle to not like I never have the stuff that I need right next to me. My desk is not that big so all the stickers and pens and stuff are never where they need to be. So I decided to get one of the cards from Michaels and I just want to show you guys how I set it up and um, how I organized it a little bit. I think it's going to work really nicely. The last couple of times that I've done plan with me's and things at my desk, it's been way easier. So I'm going to show you guys. I did get this idea from Jen McIntosh. I don't think she has a YouTube channel, but she does have an Instagram and I love her stuff. So this is her idea. Just wanted to, you know, put that out there, but I thought I'd show you how I did it. And hopefully you guys can get some ideas set up. Um, this is where I usually film. So I have my lights all up there. And I just have this little cart right next to my filming station. So that if I need a pen or if I need stickers or anything like that, I can go ahead and grab it. So the top, this is the idea that I got from Jen McIntosh. I just have these Erin Condren, um, I don't even know what they're called. They're not like clutches, but they're just see-through type of envelopes. And what I did is I divided all of my stickers into different sections that I could easily mark what each is, each one is. So here I have the sticker sheets from Erin Condren. I use those a lot for budgeting, sometimes for planning. I also have other types of sticker sheets. So right now it's just my weather stickers. I have Erin Condren ombre boxes because I haven't tried those, but I have a lot of those. I have all of my extra sticky notes that I'm not using yet. So um, I just like to have it somewhere um, sorted that way I know when I need some. I have some miscellaneous Erin Condren stuff. So I have the see-through transparent dots. I have some of the fun new ones. I have old ones that I took out of the back of planner. So it's stuff like that in there. Um, the next one I have bookmarks and pockets and dividers and stuff like that. Just extra stuff that I'm not using right now but I wanted to pick up for the future. And then the last one is just, let's see if it'll focus. Mm, leftover stuff. So it's just old stuff that I might not I might not ever use but I just want to hold on to for now so those are my different sections on the bottom I have like five more just in case I need more but for now those are working for me then I have a letter holder which you could probably see right here where I have a bunch of my Erin Condren sticker books divided so I have some of the older ones back here I have the new um, always a season to celebrate book, I have two of the teacher sticker books, four of the new Woven Wonder ones. I've been really into them lately. And then two of the new sticker books for teachers. I also have a stencil, some of those cleaning wipes in case I use the Erin Condren wet erase markers. And then this I'm super excited about because I feel like my pens are always scattered. Um, I got this from Home Goods, and it's just a pen organizer, so I have a lot of my Erin Condren dual tip markers here, the gel pens from Erin Condren, just some miscellaneous highlighters, and then the Erin Condren highlighters, the Zebra uh, mild liners, which I seriously have been loving. I use the green almost every day for studying. I have some of some other types of pens, and then these are my dry erase or not wet erase markers from Erin Condren. We use these a lot for our like kitchen calendar that Jason kind of updates and stuff. So that's the top part. I really, these are like the things that I use the most. So it's nice to have it all on top. And seriously, while I'm filming, it's so easy to just grab a sticker book and go. So that's the top. The bottom part here, I have my label maker. So I use this a lot for the envelopes above, but I'm planning on organizing a ton more, so that will come in handy. I have one of these cutters. I don't even know what they're called. I use them a lot for cutting my Erin Condren sticker sheet so I can make the washi smaller. And then this is a fuser my friend let me borrow um, to do 
little slits or whatever for the planner Kate samplers and I just haven't had time to even do it so I'm just leaving that there so I remember and then of course at the bottom I just have extras I wanted to keep this space just purely like stuff that I would need while I'm filming so I didn't want to have anything like gift tags and stuff like that here for now just because again I want it to be functional and clean and easy for me to use so that is what I did organize you know for organizing um, hopefully that gives you guys some ideas if you are planning to purchase one of these I believe it was like $30 for the cart it's an everyday value so you don't get to use a coupon which is kind of a bummer but it's it's pretty cheap as it is and then of course one thing that I wanted to mention about the cart is that it was really easy to put together I thought I was gonna have to wait for Jason to do it I took it out of the box and everything seriously just screws together it's the easiest thing ever I think the only tool that you really need is something that comes in the box so it's awesome I love when I can do stuff myself so anyway anyway guys that is uh, my little cart organization video I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time bye guys